Good morning everybody, it's Denise here, Denise Junk Journals UK, coming to you from a very sunshiny afternoon in uh, Lincolnshire in the UK and it's been a very, very hot day. So yes, we have definitely had um, a heat wave, I think, today. It's been, well, we went out in the car earlier and it's been 24 degrees, so I hope it's lovely weather where you are. Thank you for joining me. Um, I'm not doing too badly. I'm okay, thank you. I'm better than I was last time. Uh, last time I was here filming, um, I'm on the mend. I'm not there yet, but I'm on the mend. Hope you you're all well. Um, so today I'm going to come on to embellish some um, pieces that we've made together over the last few weeks. I think I'm just digging some bits out. Excuse me, making a noise. <laughs> um, yeah, so I was going to come on and do this anyway, embellish some of these. I said I'd go through some of them with you and show you them. But yesterday um, I had a comment on my video from Justine, the lovely Justine at um, House of Mahalo. Um, she does some lovely stuff who said um, she likes to see embellishment videos. Um, and I thought, well, that's exactly what I need to do. <laughs> and that's exactly what I was thinking of doing. So, yeah, thank you. Uh, uh, Justine for answering because I asked people what they'd like to see if there's anything in particular or you know what I could be doing that people are enjoying. I'm just looking for some material. Um, yeah so that's what that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to um, use up these, uh, well, I'm not going to use them up, I'm going to embellish the bases that didn't get embellished when I was making them. I've got buttons and all I'm doing is collecting, <laughs> collecting together while I'm filming. <laughs> um, Neil's just popped to uh, work for a meeting so I thought I'd try and get something done while he was there um, and get those out as well and just leave everything out on my desk shall I <laughs> uh, uh, so I thought yeah I'll get a quick video done before he comes back and disturbs me right so I've got all sorts of bits and pieces going on here let's just have them all out so these are a few things that are fussy cut um, I've got a couple of bunnies because I know a couple of my subbies particularly love the bunny rabbits let's hope we use them I've got my packet of labels I've got some words here that I acquired from my uh, drawer on my visit back to my sister's house where my craft room is at the moment. I've got a little bit of tea bag there, which I think came from Tanya at Tatty Treasure. I've got Tracy labels and I've got Nanine labels. So that's um, Tracy Fox and Nanine at uh, Collage Type. Um, they are Shabby Dabby Doo I believe. And I've got this lovely little thing of the small um, Tim Holtz pieces that came from the lovely Carol who uh, yeah, sent me some fabulous happy mail so I might use some of those today. I've got um, what I normally have on my desk so I've got the butterflies that I cut out they were from Nanine at Ex uh, Collage Type on Etsy. I've got some little tiny birds here somewhere as well that I normally have yeah my little birds Okay, so I've got all sorts of stuff going on, probably more than I'm going to need. Let me just put those to one side. So let's have a look at the things that need embellishing. Now, some of them just need tags, so we'll just put them on one side for now. This is from yesterday's video, so we'll just leave those as well. Um, yeah, I hope I'm in screen there. So let's have a look what we what we need. If they need tags, I'll just put them in a certain pile, tags and nothing much else. Um, so that needs a tag. That needs two things in it. So does that. Right, that needs some paper in it and maybe some embellishment on one side. So we'll work on that. That one needs gluing up. <laughs> yeah, that one definitely needs something else on it. That's just a page embellishment, but it needs something. Um, that's a, uh, either a bookmark or a belly band. And that's beautiful Edith Holden, but it needs backing and something, some sort of embellishment on it. We made this together it's a flip down it needs again it needs to go on something i've got some craft card uh, that i think i can reach from here so yeah might be able to use that yeah i made these tuxedo pockets with you and they need um tags so i'll put that there this one needs some this is a flip down wasn't it yeah so it definitely needs some embellishment on the outside that's a seed packet pocket one that the, i cut the wrong way so that just needs a tag this needs a tag but I think it needs something on here it's a poem about the fairies so we might have a fairy on there if we've, I've got at least one here sitting on my desk so um, yeah I made these with you and these were triple pocket um, they made out quite the stiff cards though but they need tags 
yeah that is a an envelope that i made to put in a signature so it needs something on the back but i'm going to put that with the tags for now tags yeah that needs a little bit of something more and some backing that needs tags but it needs a closure as well so we'll leave that one out um i'm not sure what that needs i'll put it with the tags these need embellishing as well as tags so these are those real quick pockets that i made the other day yeah they need a, a bit of something on the back and i didn't have anything with me often those are they just need a label or something like that now this i found in my stash um i thought it may be opened all the way out i must have made this a long time ago um oh but it does i was going to say it doesn't no it doesn't so it, it's um it's glued down allegedly so it's a flip down writing spot and obviously you can't write on that can you yeah so it needs a writing spot in there at least if nothing else um again this out of stash so it needs some kind of a center point it's a big uh, journal card from a piece of um yeah collage board master board so it needs something on there same with this one yeah it's got lots of nice things going on just but it just needs something central i think uh, and inking that needs backing and this is a another uh, masterboard piece that needs something on it i don't know what same with that one i think they may, might have come off the same i don't know they might they might not on. and then this which is a huge corner pocket but it needs embellishing so let's just go with these in because yeah we'll not get anything more than that done in this one video we will put those to one side and we will get those done um just dragging things in so bits of paper we don't need that bits of washi <laughs> that need using up so shall we just start from the top and see what this wants um it wants inking let me move all these little doodads yeah so i hope you're well i hope you're going to enjoy watching me embellish and hopefully we'll get some chitter chat <laughs> going um, so my sister and brother-in-law have just uh, called they're on the way back to um their seaside home by the coast it is uh, like i say it's very warm here so the seaside is definitely the place to be for a while i don't know how long it's going to last but um yeah i can't blame them for going so they just popped in uh, to see me and mum and uh, i think like i say neil's gone gone to work for a meeting so he won't be too long so they missed him right do i want a little cluster of something do i want words i've got a few words here what do i want what do i want on it um yes decisions i've got snippet roll i've got snippet pieces i've got they've got flowers on them i'm wondering about some lace i haven't brought any lace have i can i reach it i bet i can oh 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 not supposed to stretch like that right Right, I've got a few bits of lace in here. Oh, that's a nice dotty blue there, look. Um, oh, and some nice light dotty, but it's not really what I want. Right, there's a little piece. So I don't want to use great big pieces. This is just craft lace, so I don't mind using that. Let's just cut some bits off. Because I don't want this great big thing on the, on the desk, because it's taking up a quarter of it. Let's take off a bit of that as well, and move it out of the way okay so we take a piece of that off yeah this this crochet craft lace is really really cheap it's not um, it's not the nice vintagey stuff it's cotton yeah but it's got its place right so i've got a few bits of lace now as well um so i'm wondering about oh, i've got some material here too yeah i'm still still on the blue theme aren't i really i'm wondering about a little should have brought my fabric snippets out yeah, I'm wondering about a little fabricy type cluster. Lost my scissors then. So this is why I like everything around me when I'm creating, because I like to just drag things from here, there, and everywhere. Nice behind now. I like the lace in front. I like that bit showing though. There. Um, I quite like that just because it's the the colour of those. I was going to say hyacinths, but I don't know if they are. 
the hyacinth looking anyway can you hear the birdies singing out there beautiful isn't it yes i'm wondering about just a little cluster somewhere um how's fabricat gonna go today it's been very hot in here there was in fact as i just came through a wasp but it seems to have flown out the window because yeah it's not buzzing around anymore i'm hoping it's flown out the window and it's not just settled on me <laughs> somewhere whoops yeah you're a little bit lively ah. strings you can see by the end of the nozzle that it's uh, it's a bit gloopy. What do we do? Stick that on there, and then the whole thing on there. Yeah, I think as that stands with the lid off, it will start to uh, to get a bit more runny as well. Yeah, and then I'm thinking some sort of a nice word up there. That's nice, but it's not really the word that I want for a pocket journal, is it? I mean, it could be memories that's quite a nice one i just like the dark i've got anything else other than journal i mean we could go with a right so i'm thinking artie maze for the these labels but i've had them a long time so i couldn't be certain but that's where i think they're from um, she's artie maze on youtube and on etsy if for chance you don't know her she's a very well known YouTuber in, well, a UK YouTuber. Yeah, I'm thinking we could put one of these dark words on it. Friendship is a nice one. Beaming springtime, quite like the friendship one. Let's. Right, now I know I left this earlier with the lid off, or I found it earlier with the lid off, so I'm guessing that's a nice rusty pin beneath. If you stab yourself with that, you'll be in serious trouble. Let's not use that. That's better. Nice big one. Oh, gosh. <laughs> yeah, what was I saying? Don't know, completely forgotten now. Doesn't take me long to get covered in glue, does it? I'm already, I've already got a, ooh, a gluey finger. Oh yeah, I think I was saying about the glue, yeah. I, yeah, I found it earlier. I still want something behind it. Do you want a bit more of the same lace, maybe? Let's try it and see. We haven't lost anything if the answer's no. Oh, cut it too thin. You noodle. Oh, that's a, that was a happy accident because I prefer this piece than the edge piece. Now, is that too much in two places? Um, 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 just let me look at it a moment. I think it is. Let's see if I would like it in a different colour. Not that one. Let's try a piece of this one. And then if I still don't like it, too big. We'll have it with perhaps some paper under. Oh, I know, I quite like that. I quite like that frill at the bottom. Yeah. The thing about um, embellishing is it's very much a personal choice. I'm guessing when, when you watch other people embellish, it's about finding something that you like as opposed to, you know, giving you an idea, as opposed to liking everything, everything somebody does. If others are like me, I think you probably are. You know, it's like, oh, that, I'm not keen on that. That's, no, it's all right, it's nice enough, but it's not my thing. And then suddenly, oh, I like that. Oh, that's a good idea, I'd like to do that. Yeah, I think that's what embellishing videos are about. Um, ideas, ideas that you like and, you know, kind of leaving, leaving alone the stuff that isn't for you. Okay, so we've got lots of uh, colour on this one. We have got um, wordage. There is a bit of a flower, but not much, but I'm thinking flower maybe. I'm gonna leave that flower fairy over there because we want something maybe, don't we? Oh, what have I got in here? Oh, you see, bunny. What about bunny? Straight away, I like bunny. So what have I got in here? I've got um, little daisy things left from Nanine, from the daisy kit. You've seen those no end of times. That little clock is from Nanine. That is from Tina at Shabby Dabby Doodah. I've got some butterflies. I've got some um, 
postal uh, tickets that I've had a long time. I can't remember whose they are. They're off at, they are a digital off Etsy. That's shabby dabby doo. -dah. I've got another bunny in a cup, look. And then I've another clock from Nanine. And I've got some bits printed out from Janie B. That's Janie B Journals. Um, and I think these are probably from one of the mystery packs that I bought. Yeah, so some nice little flower um, bits. A lot of these I've printed half size so that they're nice little tiny doodads. I believe these are from a, an artist who's quite well known, but whose name I don't know. Maybe you know, I don't know. They're quite sweet, aren't they? Just beautiful ladies. Um, yeah, and then some really tiny seed packet pictures. There's just four, I think, there. Yeah. Just so that you could see what was in in that tab uh, in that box right yeah i think we're going to go aren't we with with bunny rabbit here let's, uh, let's get him down do we want anything with him or behind him i don't want to put lace on everything i just unearthed this little bit of uh i'm not sure bunny rabbit wants that though i'm wondering about a piece of uh text so this is left over from something we were doing yesterday. Let's try a piece of text just to give it a bit of um, definition, depth, layer. That's it. Couldn't think. Couldn't think what words I was looking for or what description. Yeah, a layer is what I was looking for. Um, just a tad too much up there. So we might use these little bits in a minute. Yeah, I've definitely got glue on that finger. It's driving me mad. <laughs> Oops. Maybe sideways. No, don't like it sideways. Don't want to lose too much of that, really. So make it a bit... Mm. If I cut it down too much, there's not going to be much left of it. Oh, in the middle wrong with him in the middle um, I'm just wondering if a label instead let me just try label I'm seeing as it says postal I decide between the two right let me do it where you can see so you can't just hear me ferreting in something and not seeing what I'm digging out um, so yep yeah, don't really know what I'm looking for that's quite nice that's a label with text so maybe that And it's got that lovely blue around the edge as well. I'm thinking that. I just spotted that little butterfly there as well. Yeah. Okay, let's ink the butterfly. I've inked the bunny, haven't I? And of course, it's very much personal preference if you like to put lots and lots and lots of um, embellishments on your pieces. Um, make them really lacy. Have we dried up already? Uh, that's how I'm getting glue on my fingers, isn't it? By grabbing the end of the glue. That's better. Yeah, you can make them very lacy or you could put a lot of labels on. Um, a lot of butterflies. It's really up to you. You don't have to have the amount of stuff I've got here. Sometimes you make it more difficult. The reason um, today particularly I've brought a lot of pieces out is... That I've got such a diverse um, amount of uh, or type of ephemera yeah so I've not got lots of envelopes in a particular style or lots of you know I'm not doing a set of tags or anything like that I've got all sorts of things in all sorts of colors so I, I just don't know what I'm going to want <laughs> so I brought a lot yep we'll look at them all at the end because if we stop and admire them all I'll never get anything done um, and Neil will be home <laughs> okay so this is very floral we've got flower flower pink I suppose I ought to put these lids on in between didn't I because it's so hot right and I've just spotted something there I don't know this is the beauty of having things around you so this is from Tina at Shabby Dabby Doo -da, and this is I believe from a freebie kit of hers. Blue's driving me mad. Mm. 
thought I might like it but I'm not convinced maybe it needs to go on something oops I might have done that too small now no I haven't that's it you seem to me Mr Birdie it's lovely think it up and see it's nice to use a few things the same you know to get them used up on a couple of pieces and then change what you're doing so yeah hopefully I won't put dictionary page on everything but now I'm losing that flower there but I am quite liking that and I'm wondering if it needs to be a little bit more uneven as opposed to a perfect oval like the like this is yeah that's better mirrors it a little bit but not too much yep so i'm hiding that so i might as well hide it if you know what i mean <laughs> you can't save everything whoops it's in my microphone i cannot wait to save up for a wireless microphone that would be heaven wouldn't it not to have the wires oops too low gosh yep, it's a good job that's going down there denise you've nearly hidden your flower though and I'm thinking I have hidden that little butterfly and I'd like a butterfly on here so um, are these all big oh I see a little one there flying around he's trying to get my attention yep that's gonna blend in lovely kind of blend in but not and uh, yeah not sure where this one's from probably cut out of a, a little book I would think we have it on that little Roma there. Yeah, I was thinking about lace, but it's a, a journal card, so I don't want to make it too too chunky down there. And again, it's got a word on it, and it's got text, so I don't want to put any more. Yeah, we'll leave that. And next, right, this. Now, I'm wondering about one of these lovely, and I haven't shown you them yet, but you know I've got them because <laughs> it's quite a big piece isn't it I was wondering about one of these lovely um, I'll take them out of the I'll take some of them out uh, shiny packet that's it that's what I was trying to say and this will take quite a big one I mean some of them are too big for some things she's quite um, yes I like her is it the same lady no yeah, I like the dark one, I think. Um, you know, the dark dress. No, somehow she doesn't. No, she's just kind of regal sitting there, I think. It's, it's definitely her, what do you think? <coughs> I mean, there's so much else going on. I don't think it needs anything but her. And, um, yeah, I'm not going to ink her, I don't think. Or maybe I am. I'm going to see white bit. Yeah, because there's so much else going on because of, you know, how dark a, a picture this is, an image. It stands out nice. It doesn't just disappear in. Do you have a lower down there? Yeah, see that stamp a bit then, which I like. Yeah, so this was a master board that's been made a long, long time and cut up a long time ago. But it's full of luscious things that I like. I'm loving the stamps on it. Yeah, and I'm stamping on my using stamps on master boards next Monday, so there's a bit of a head start for you. Um, yeah, postal stamps. Yeah, I love all the different bits on it. So she's just finished it off lovely. Sometimes that's all you need, just to put one thing on. You know, I could go on, I could put more embellishments on it, but I think they would detract from what, what is already on the master board. Yeah, so that's a nice tall um, journal card. Hmm, strange, looks like it's got rain or something on it. I don't think there's anything on it. Bizarre. Okay. Oh, we're cooking on gas, that's four. This one just needs backing onto something, doesn't it? Um, some quite thick paper anyway. It's just have a dig in the this box 
Let's see what we might want. It's got to be something fairly thick, but not too thick. Anything in there? No. And I've got card in the other one. I was just wondering. Oh yeah, you're going to fit on there. Perfect piece of Amazon. Now I could have got a whole page of that out, and that would have been a waste, wouldn't it? When I had this piece sitting here all along, glue book. Yeah, so I've been to the post office this morning and posted the uh, the winners prizes. And uh, where have I been? I've been somewhere else. Have I not? Hmm. Is that the only place I've been? Maybe it is. <laughs> Maybe that's the only place I've been. I don't know where today's gone, to be honest. It has flown by. Um, yeah, because I, I still wasn't very well to be uh, to be out and about much yesterday. We didn't go shopping. Neil's offered to go on his own, but I'm at the stage. I don't know about you guys. I just do not know what I want to eat. I really don't know. It's uh, it's so tricky when people are wanting to do your shopping. I mean, it's hard when I go to the shop anyway. I'm like, <laughs> but at least you, you get some choice and you can think, oh yeah, I'll, I'll have some of that. I'll try that. But yeah, at the moment, I just don't know what I want. So people shopping, <laughs> doing the shopping for me is fine. I mean, Neil's, you know, he will eat anything we give him, but he is a, he's a meat eater. He loves his meat. I'm not, I can take it or leave it most of the time. I'm not overly fussed. And he loves pasta. I'm definitely not much of a pasta lover. Yeah, so I really would like to be able to... Uh, get to the shop myself so I'm hoping that when Neil comes home we will just have a quick pop to the shop unless I've uh, no I've done done more than enough and can't can't do any more. I do want something on the front of that now it is to go in a pocket. I think I'm gonna leave that as it is. It's cheating a bit I know but um if it doesn't need anything it doesn't need anything now this is a really over the top piece you know, I really went to town, to town. It's an, again, it's an old, um, oh, oh, that kind of tones it down a lot in there, doesn't it? Yeah, it's an old masterboard where I, uh, you know, had great fun putting lots and lots of coloured things on it. <laughs> and I love it, it's just embellishing it. I'm just thinking something up there, hopeful. Is that a bit small, vintage? I quite like it though. Right now, when you get little things like this, you can put them onto other uh, labels, you know, and make more of them than they actually are, if you know what I mean. Sometimes even onto other labels that you don't like the word on. A little bit too small for that. Yeah, I'm not keen on that imagine one, but I don't think it'll cover it. Oh, it does. Uh, no, not something of a different colour. So, um, oh, no, I'm not going to waste one of those. Bear with me while we have a little look in here. Um, what have we got? Greens. Is that too fancy? Well, I don't know if it is. Let's have a look at that one. I left my small scissors over there. I have. I think I might have to go get them. Well, I can't find them anywhere. I don't know what I've done with them. So I'll have to use the uh, the big ones. Excuse me while I shuffle my chair in again. Makes a strange noise. Um, yeah, because I noticed I'd been on a little while, longer than I thought I had actually. And Neil will come in expecting me to make a decision, am I going or not? <laughs> and he won't expect him, be expecting me to be filming, so I better, I better crack on. Right, did we say that was gonna fit in there? It very nearly does, can I make it a little bit smaller? It's not very square, Denise. But then again, <laughs> Most of my cutting out is not very square. So if I ink it, do you think? We'll only know if we do it. Won't we? So this will 
looks to me like some kind of a cigarette cigar band do they call it something like that yeah I think I think I'm going to do it why not because there's not enough <laughs> there's not enough fancy going on is there on this journal card it needs more yeah, table squeaking well today I was just talking to Neil this morning about actually setting the craft room up so the first day we go up to the house get the keys we're not moving in but I would like to move this table because if you've been with me a while you'll know this is a very old craft table that I just started on <laughs> a long time ago um, my desk my proper craft desk I'm not going to ink that um, is at my sister's so we were thinking we're not having a van that first day because we're going to be cleaning and whatever I, I said to him it would be nice he says I suppose the craft room has to be the first thing there <laughs> he knows me well I said well I'd like the table this table from in here and bits there and then you know in a fortnight's time I'm not going to be able to do that much I'm not going to be able to go from the little I can do now to doing tons so if it's there he can carry on you know once we've done a bit in the house he can carry on playing with his shed and his whatever whatever he's working on and I can go up and sit in the craft room and have half an hour playing maybe filming for you guys I definitely will film uh, the craft room before <laughs> before we move in so you can see what I'm what I'm working with I did press play on there did I not I think I did yeah my only concern is sometimes when I do that it goes back to a to a wide screen I think you know a smaller screen for you guys I think we're okay right a couple more what should we do yeah these definitely need something doing to them so these if you remember when I did them I want 100% keen they're okay but I didn't fall in love with them they need something they're a, I think they're a bit OTT on the back so I'm thinking definitely thinking label biggish label um oh well, I've just seen these in here no, I think they're going to be too much. I mean, I know they're going to be covered up when they're... Mm -mm. Now, I've got another one of those somewhere. Um, yeah, they'll definitely be covered up when uh, they've got the tag in, but when you take the have, when you take the tag out, now, for me, that's changed them already. I'm thinking on the back of something, but... what no I can probably only see my hand and nothing else but we have got large hands let's leave that out a minute I'm not sure it's the right colour but and that oh, I didn't get the music paper out did I see there's always something <laughs> so you don't have to have what I have here to create the effect I'm creating you just need any kind of doodads that you've got right oh no where's my clock gone yeah I'm liking the clocks definitely I didn't dislike that actually on there that might just be enough we'll see what do we want behind this no I don't really want the clock in the middle do we I'm just going to stick this paper down because sometimes you have too many pieces floating about and uh, yeah it becomes <laughs> becomes a bit of a, an issue so let's have that down because I like that I do actually like that on there as well just don't know that the clock goes with it but I do like this clock on here it's quite plain um, Maybe one of those pieces of artwork, one of those lovely ladies. Uh, yeah, I do like that on there. So I'm going to put that down. Oops. I do hope I'm working where you can see. This is how I work with all this round me. I know some people would it would drive them mad. I hope it didn't drive you mad watching. I just love 
love the inspiration also I like this to this side it kind of mirrors that um, yeah I'm gonna call that done I think I, I was thinking it could do with a little word or something down oh limited edition hmm I'm just gonna put it on unadorned I just think it limited edition and the clock kind of yeah it stands out now because it's white right I'll have a look at it in a minute when we look at them all um it stands up there yes I like that I was wondering oops um there's those little pieces of art there I'm wondering if any of these are all quite big aren't they she's not but too small compared to that so it might be that I've chosen this and nothing's going to go with it yeah too big so maybe not that what else have we got okay so that's a pocket we're not going to be uh, decorating I like that I wonder if she would just go in the back there she's quite nice um, oh, it's just not quite wide enough for that is it what I'd like is some music paper yeah did I say uh, pockets fall into the floor <laughs> so we won't be decorating that one it's the one that wants the fairy on it as well maybe you'll see a picture of it at the end but I'm not stopping again to pick it up and I'd better not lean. Right, I am in my box that you can't see. I suppose I ought to let you. <laughs> I know it's horrible when you can't see. I'm just looking for a bit of music paper and as soon as I've got the box in front of you... No, I won't get it all out. I found it. So do we want a piece of that or bigger? Let's, let's take a piece of that. And we'll take a piece of that and we'll close the lid on the rest for now oops I'm just wondering about this with a piece of music quite like this dark it's a lovely colour so I want a small piece but a fussy piece if I can you know I've got an itchy nose I need to scratch oh, itchy nose means you can have a fight doesn't it old wife's tail I do hope I'm not <laughs> I haven't got the energy or the uh, the need oh it's a lovely colour I don't think you go with that though that's the thing but you are a beautiful colour what will go on you then we're going back to this clock even the clock's too big isn't it um right choices choices so you sometimes you'll hit one like this it's a bit tricky you've got two choices you can either persevere or you can just put it to one side until you're ready for it i am going to persevere a little bit now what about these lovely things from tim holtz and uh, carol right so we're yellow we don't want anything red be a bit too clashy that's too beautiful I'm gonna be hard in that for just the right thing love it 35 cents don't dislike that quite like it actually no that's a rather lovely ticket the thing is it's going to be hidden as well isn't it quite like that as well reds 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 okay so that is quite standout-ish, isn't it? That is plain and brings it down a bit. No. I think I'm going to go with that. I am. It's a lovely card that this Tim Holtz uh, ephemera is on, I have to say. It be feels beautiful and smooth and it's a nice thickness. Yeah, so like I say, I know this is going to be covered most of the time with a journal card. It's just a bit of a a prettiness or an interest off to the side a little bit when you take that journal card out and there's a surprise behind it okay so do I want something word wise or ticket wise oh it's got to go under there 
on the front here. Does that say strong? No. What are these green ones? Constant beaming springtime. Springtime? I think I will. Right, do I want it on a bit of something? Just seen this lovely, <laughs> lovely, lovely piece of vintage shiny lace. I think that might be, that might be the very last piece of it. Do we have it across there? Yes, we shall. Lovely. Sometimes it's the smallest of things that bring me joy when embellishing. And this lace is one of those small things. Love it. Love it. Really need to find some more now. Or oh, something similar. Vintage lace with a glitter on it. So most glitter is modern, isn't it? You don't. Uh, well, it's on now, Denise, so we'll have to go at that angle. Yep, okay, another one. Right, a couple more, shall we? Try. Let's try for a couple more. Let's, let's try some quickish ones. Oh no, that's the fairy one. I was fibbing. Um, yep, yeah, let's find something for that. That one just wants glue in, doesn't it? That wants something inside it. Anything else? It just needs a quick fix. Maybe that then, we'll see. Right, let's glue this because that's all it needs and then a, a pretty bit of something on the front. Oh, oh. that wasn't very clever. I'm going to glue the whole thing shut now. What have I done with my cloth? There we go. I think I've rescued it. I hope I've rescued it. And uh, I'm wondering about a bit of snippet on that. And although it is very... Now I've changed my mind before I even opened it. It's very full on, isn't it? Oh, there we go. Something plain amongst all that. Yep, and I'm wondering about something green behind it, some greenery. What have we got here? Could we, uh, oops, do you think we could have you leaf and leave the rest? We could. <laughs> what do we think? Does it go with that? It's a bit vintage, you know. It was an idea, but it isn't what I wanted. Right. We're going to put a word on this one. Ooh. Maybe on the flap. Let's have one of these parcel words. Parcel post, first class mail. No. Number. Is that the same one? No, quite like that one. Let's have that one. The red stands out a bit. Let me put these away because it'll be one last thing <laughs> to sort out. Don't think you need inking. Haven't got time. <laughs> that would be funny upside down. Yeah, that's a really distressed kind of looking piece. I like that. I like that a lot. Just wondering if we want a stamp. I haven't got a stamp here, have I? Of all the things I've got. And I've got thousands of stamps. No, okay, we'll leave that as it is because what were we going to do this? Um, yeah, no, it's got words, text, and it's got a piece of botanic cool. Maybe it needs something like, oh, like that. I don't like the colour, but I like, I like the date. Have I got another dated one? No, I've got a numbered one. Oh, I've got some Tracy labels here though, haven't I? Yes, a nice big one like that with a date in green or red or brown. Anything but blue would be perfect. So, what have we got? No, not a date. Please quote. Mm -hmm. Dates, no dates. <laughs> Am I going to find one at the bottom? 
got that in red as well as brown. No, I'm not. Okay, at least I found something I might like. So, yeah, I like the red one as well. Let's put the lid on these because put those two back in it. Yeah, it just pops. The red pops from all the, the brownness on there, doesn't it? Yeah, well, I could really over over decorate this one because it would take all sorts but I don't want to I, I quite like the simplicity of it yep let's just darken the edge a bit more I'm just looking at that I'm wondering if a piece of that down the side might be nice because it's kind of botanically I think it would just down there yes let's give it a bit more something yeah, happy with that one. Right, are we done? Put the little bird back. I uh, don't think there's anything else unless we can very quickly put something on here. I just wasn't... Oh, now then. Yeah, I don't dislike that on there. And it, it needs backing. I don't know why I'm doing that side of it. Sometimes I rip these, they look nice ripped. I wonder if that would... No, there's a lot of lot of tatty going on, so we'll not tatty treasures, <laughs> tatty papers going on. We'll put that on neatly, leave a bit of that showing. And um yeah, it needs backing on to something for writing on. And I've got here some I'll just glue it on, I think. What is it called? Um Yes, graph, graph. Oh, my glue's drying up. Uh, no, not graph. Ledger, ledger pages, and it's from Junk with Steph. Yeah, that is gloopy, gloopy glue. I should have had the lid on that one. There's a bit of white, so I'll go in the middle. Oops, dear. I wonder if it's home from school time. So I'm starting to hear people talking. I hope they're not. Uh, Oh yeah, they are. They're shouting like yesterday. Goodness me, my window's open. <laughs> right, so I'm just about to show you. I don't know, it's obviously how she talks, but... Gosh. Oh. To the children. What was I going to say then? Oh yeah, it's last one. So I'll show you everything we've done. And then... Uh, I won't have to stop and close my window, hopefully. Please shush, lady. Five minutes. <laughs> Just give me five minutes and I'll be done. Oh. I was hoping to be done before they came home. I did say that to Neil earlier, but then my sister arrived. and yeah, You've got to see your sister when she arrives, haven't you? Right, so, yeah, we've got a lot of pieces done. Let's count them. Let's have a look. Um... So yeah, that is now, or it will be when it dries. It won't sink in around the back, but I'm not gonna do that now. So we've got a lovely journal card. We've got a lovely page embellishment. There's just a few bits on it. That was the first one we did. So that's a nice big um, corner pocket. Might even have something going across it when it's on the page as well. I think this has got to be my favorite just because of bunnykins. Yeah, beautiful little bunnykins on there and a butterfly. Um, uh, yes journal card <laughs> that's it we really just glued that one down and put a couple of bits on it um, yeah we made these much better so these need tags in so we'll do another one of these where we're making tags to put all in all these things so you'll see them again and I have still got half the pile yep so I'll do another one it won't be tomorrow we'll let a few days pass but I'll do another one finishing them off um, yeah we saved we salvaged something that was a bit over the top there <laughs> um, this one's bending up as it dries but again it's it's just a journal card and it wants inking at the back there she is miss beautiful really love her and uh, another uh, journal card okay so give me a thumbs up if you enjoyed watching that i will um speak to you in the comments and uh, come back and see me tomorrow um where we'll be doing something more equally interesting i hope bye for now <laughs>